Hey, what's going on? It's Lucas, and in today's video, I want to, for once and for all, answer the question, end the dilemma, end the debate on do you need a certification to be a successful online coach? And note how that's phrased. Do you need a certification to be a successful online coach? Why I get so fired up about this topic, this question, and why I answer it the way I do is because I've seen the results, not only from my own life, but from some of the top coaches that we've not only worked with, but that I've seen grow in the industry. So I can, I can prove to you that you don't need a certification, but before I say no, you don't need a certification and answer you with an absolute, I'm going to just put into the space or just let you know that Every time I hear an absolute answer to something, unless we're talking like laws of physics, like laws of gravity and, and universal laws that we believe are true right now, although in a hundred years they may be debunked, but right now there's certain laws, you know, the speed of light and stuff like that that is like an absolute. Everything else, it can be interpreted in different ways. And so I'm not gonna say, no, you don't need a certification, but I'm going to lean heavily towards it and give you the reasons why. And I hope that's fair. I'm gonna make this quick and snappy and just end it, just, just end it once and for all and let you decide if you need a certification or not. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say is to be a successful coach, like to get clients and define success as in sales and have a company and really change lives, Obviously, you don't need a certification, and I can show you a lot of clients doing 20 or 30K, selling $5,000 programs with no certification. When I say that, I don't mean investing in yourself, investing in your growth, investing in learning, investing in mentors, investing in, in courses and getting better at it. I don't know how much I've spent on courses, on mentors, on coaching. I, I actually, I don't know, I don't, a lot. None of them or very few came with an actual certification. I'm not interested in the actual certificate in a piece of paper. Zero interest in that. I'd ha I've happily spent $5,000 for a day or two of training. No certification. Knowledge, right? Knowledge, knowing, and wisdom. So actually applying it, wisdom is doing. So I actually applied it, saw results, became, became a, 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 I grew as a human being. I grew in my skill set. I grew in them. In, 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 in my tool belt so I could become a better coach. That I'm all for. So when I say no, you don't need a certification, I don't want to dismiss the idea, actually it's mandatory, you've got to you know, invest your time, invest your energy, invest your money in becoming a better coach. Not only to get your clients better results, but remember that as you increase your value in the marketplace, as you increase who you are as a coach and how you can coach and the value that you bring, you increase what you can charge. And I guarantee you, if you learn one thing a day, if you get better at what you do just a little bit every single day, you'll be a top tier coach in 10 years. You'll be able to charge $100,000, a million dollars for the year. I don't care, you'll be able to charge whatever you want because you'll be so in demand. But we have to start somewhere. That somewhere is now. And a lot of coaches are like, well, maybe I'll get a certification. And then I see them get a certification, they go in the marketplace, they try to get a client or two, but they don't really know what they're doing with the marketing, they're not working on their positioning, they refuse to hire their own coach, which is a big mistake for coaches, and they're just like lost. So they go back and say, well, maybe I'll get one more certification. And then they try it again, well, maybe another certification. I'm gonna let you know to stop this madness, no matter how many certifications you have on your wall, it will not help you get a client. And in my experience, the best way to become a better coach is not through certification, but it's through actually coaching, actually working with people. So it's really, the, the, the main question is how do you, you know, get your experience, how do you become a better coach? Find some clients, get some clients, position yourself. Differentiate yourself, create something enticing, create an offer, it won't be perfect and that's okay, but we have to coach and remember, finally, you gotta be one step ahead. You've gotta be okay with the idea that you just have to be one step ahead of your clients. A lot of times we underestimate or we undervalue what we know, the knowledge, the gifts, the experience we have, and we think we need a certification when you have what it takes. Nine times out of 10, when I'm talking to someone, they have what it takes. You're a few steps ahead and that's okay. Now you may be two or three steps ahead, you get a client, you're working with them. As you get better, you'll be 10 steps ahead. You'll not only be able to charge more, you'll get better results. 
Then you'll be 100 steps ahead. You'll not only be able to charge more, but you're gonna get better results. And eventually, you're gonna be like a puppeteer. You'll see the big picture because you've been doing this for so long. When I, when I, when a coach is like, here's my problem, I need a few pieces of information and I know exactly what they have to do to get results. I've seen so many situations, so many scenarios, so many different aspects of different coaching businesses and different niches and where they're at and what they're doing that I'm just like, this is what you gotta do. And they do it, they get results. And this, when you, and I'm not tooting my horn here, I'm just letting you know that when you do something over and over and you keep getting better at it, your skill set develops, you become a better, in, in my instance, marketer, copywriter, um, understand how you know psychology and influence works, you can get really good at what you do and you can be a thousand steps ahead and then you can charge accordingly and really help people get results. But you've got to start somewhere and that starting is not a certification, it's actually doing. It's actual experience. And so, you know, if, if, if this channel and the podcast, everything we create is dedicated to helping you get those clients, to helping you build systems automations, to help you with your positioning, to help you with how you differentiate, to, to help you create client attraction and value center type coaching business models, consume it, use it. Implement it. Work with your first few clients and don't worry about the rest, the website, and everything else is, is not important right now. Your first few clients, getting paid by your first few clients is your main focus. And down the line, if, if, if you do want to get more certifications, you can. But more importantly than certifications, I just want you to develop your skill set, your tool belt as a coach, and to me that's the most important thing. Whether it has a certification attached to it or not, I, I could honestly give a shit less about it because it's not actually important. Truly hope this serves as a bit of an, uh, I'm not gonna say unbiased because I'm sure it's biased towards action, which in my opinion, action is what gets results, action is what drives results, but a bit of a understanding of why certifications are not important, how you can be a successful coach without certifications, how you can really change your client's lives without certifications, and leave the final choice up to you, whether you're gonna waste your time getting certified or whether you need it for your niche and your industry, and there are a few where you may. The next argument that comes up is well about insurance. There are many insurances, like insurance companies that will insure you without a certification. The basic insurance, there's a lot of companies, legitimate companies that insure you without a certification uh, because it's not needed, it's not mandatory. And I'm just gonna let you know that you're gonna get more experience working with your clients, getting paid, working with your clients, getting them a result and figuring it out with them than you are taking a certification. Oftentimes, when I get a coach who's got certifications, they're all messed up because they're in this one way of thinking, this very old school way of thinking, and they've got these cookie cutter programs and they can't market it, and it's just a mess. And oftentimes, the clients without a certification who are open-minded to designing unique programs based on their life experience, based on how they see things, uh, they do better and they get clients better results. I'm gonna leave it at that. LucasRubis.com for absolutely anything else. We got the podcast, the YouTube channel, uh, which is both free. We've got the Coaches University and the Coaches Circle, which is paid. It's our live mentorship program. We work with you until you get results. No one in our space is, is making a guarantee like that. You pay once, we work with you until you make your money back. So if you're looking for a coach or mentorship or accountability or a program and a community to move your coaching business forward, to start it, to launch it, to scale it, to grow it, no matter where you're at, you find the help you need over at lucasworks.com. With that said, I'm out. I'll see you in the next video.